Hi, this is Jay Michael, the Bitcoin Mentor. Welcome to this Trezor Hardware Wallet Training. And to get started, pull out your Trezor and let's go through the two most important things you'll do before you use your Trezor. You want to start by going to Trezor's website. And that's at https colon forward slash forward slash T-R-E-Z-O-R dot I-O. Let me stop and interject here that you very likely will encounter this page, which will request that you install an extension. I've already done it on my Chrome browser, but if you have that, click the green install button or go down below and look at the choices you have there for various Windows and Apple products and then click the download button and then follow the instructions for your particular device installation. Now let's get back to the Trezor website. Once there, we can begin. And you'll see this page. Let's plug in the Trezor into your computer. Number one is set up your pin. They have a great little video that will walk you through how to set up a number of different this pins to use, so only you have access. The tiles shown on the computer's display. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's set our new pin to 241753. Follow the instructions here carefully. Next, you want to put together your recovery seat, which is 24 words that will help you recover and restore your wallet if necessary, in case of theft or loss. Now, these are critical words, so make sure you write it down. Save it, put it in a safe, give it to a friend, put it somewhere safe on your computer, or all the above. Now you're ready. Let's start by putting some Bitcoin inside your treasure. And the most popular spot is from Coinbase. So let's go to Coinbase. And once we get there, click on Dashboard, and then go over to Accounts. And once you go to Accounts, go down to the BTC Wallet. Now understand, this could be Uphold, it could be Blockchain Info, it could be Copay, it could be any number of exchanges or wallets. But we're in the most popular Coinbase. So let's click on Send, and you do whatever it takes for your particular wallet or exchange to send. And you should have a pop-up like this that asks, where should we send it to? The recipient. And that's what we're going to show you now. How do we get the recipient in Trezor? So let's go over to our Trezor. And we go to wallet.trezor.io. And of course, we'll need to type in our PIN, which you will see on the front of your Trezor. And that takes us in here. We want to go to our Bitcoin wallet. Remember, you can have a few wallets. And remember to use the Bitcoin one and not the Bitcoin Cash, as some people make that mistake. Unless you are sending in Bitcoin Cash. But there is a distinction. You need to have the right one. Once you go into the right account for that particular one, go over to receive. And the receive will create a code for you. The recipient code that you will then go back and place in the Coinbase Enter BTC address. And once you've got it there, check it. I always check the first few digits and perhaps the last few digits. Check those two. They stand up. Good. We're good to go. So we go back to your wallet, your exchange, or in this case, Coinbase. Then enter how much you want to send. You can send your max. You can send any given amount that you have. And notice there's a network fee. So if you send, let's say, $25 worth, there'll be a fee. $1,000 worth, there'll probably be the same fee. So you want to be careful about that. Prices are changing and prices are going down for the fee. But there still is a fee there. So make sure you send over enough to accomplish the task you want. Now next you want to look at using two-step verification or 2FA, two-factor authorization. 
In this case, you may be using the Google one. It changes every few seconds, approximately 30 seconds. Put in that code and confirm. And guess what? Your transaction is on the way. It'll tell you how much you sent to an external address, which happens to be your treasure. It's headed over. And you can look in transaction. You can see, oh, there it is. It's here. Notice, though, it's unconfirmed. You need a few more confirmations between three and eight. And you've just funded your treasure with some Bitcoin from Coinbase. Congratulations. So now let's reverse the process. Let's take a cryptocurrency from your Trezor, in this case we use Bitcoin, and send it out to an exchange or a wallet. And again, we'll use Coinbase, because that's the most popular one. So what do you do first? We go into your exchange or wallet and prepare it to receive the Bitcoin. And you do that by getting its address that you're sending it to. So you go here and click on receive in your Bitcoin address in Coinbase and up will pop your QR code and your public key or address. So now you want to copy this address here, the 1DM Giord. And we're gonna take it over to our Trezor. Now you may have to go back and if you don't have it online, re-enter your pin code on your Trezor based on your matrix that you'll see here. Once you get inside, we'll go to the Bitcoin wallet and the Bitcoin account, making sure you go to one that has some Bitcoin in it. And then you'll go up there and click on the send menu item. And there is our send payment pop-up box. We'll enter the address there and check to see if that's the correct address. Remember the one DMG ord and maybe check the last two amounts. And then set in the amount, how much you're gonna send over in BTC. You may wanna click the maximum amount and you can have a choice for how much fee you wanna pay. When you're happy with that, click the send button, which is the green button right here. Oh, and let's just make sure you want to send it. So they give you this confirmation page and you'll have to go back to your treasure to, to confirm that. That's a great safety feature. And there you go. You've sent Bitcoin now from your treasure back to an exchange or a, or a wallet or wherever you choose to see it. And here we can see it. Here they acknowledge they've received it. They're just waiting for the appropriate amount of confirmations to make it available. And there you go, you've done it. You sent Bitcoin from your Trezor into another wallet or exchange. Congratulations, they are due again. Now you may want to store other cryptocurrencies. And you notice if you go up here and click on the Bitcoin menu item, it'll give you a drop down list of some of those items. Now that listing can change. And even as you watch this, there may be additional cryptocurrencies added that you can store on your treasure. Another note, to use Ethereum or Ethereum Classic or what we call ERC coins or tokens, you'll have to use the My Ethereum wallet and that's available to you online and there's instructions on how to use that and it's just like you use the treasure wallet. You have ability to receive coins, to send coins. Finally, you can look at all your transactions you've done on your Trezor. And you simply do that by clicking on the Transactions menu item. And you'll get a listing of every transaction you've ever done and a close-up of each one. That is most of the features of your Trezor. And it's one of the great secure hardware wallets. You'll find updates constantly and they even are coming out with a new Model T at any time now. Thanks for watching this training video and we'll see you next time.